Breeding Zevans. That's the pathless path. <laughs> it looks to be a path, but it is pathless. That's the beauty of this path. Because it does not hold on to any particular concept, philosophy, theory, belief, anything. It is the way it is. So this is the final path. Then you are done with everything. As I mentioned earlier, a time comes when you know there is no more teachers or no more teachings needed. No more paths or no more concepts, no more philosophies needed. You are just the way you are. You can just be. Till you can't be, then you need this or that. And every this or that leads you to how to be. That's the beauty of this path. So, I'm sitting right now in Thirunamalai. Again, we have a small retreat coming up. Small because uh, last month we couldn't make, uh, fill up everybody. So, whoever overflowed are coming in November. We have seven, eight of them. So, it's a silent retreat again here. Beautiful to be in Thirudamalai. That gives me an opportunity to come again and again here. Now, looking at the seekers that we constantly come across. I keep coming across a lot of seekers. Today also, I'm meeting some uh, foreigners in the evening. So, they have a different approach to things. And uh, we are just sitting here and just finding out ways how to get over all these things called spirituality. <laughs> because when you are done with the mind only, everything things happen. See, one secret is, you use the mind only to create. You use the mind only to live. You know? And you use the same mind to dissolve. That is why it is very confusing for people. People can't get it very clear. It becomes very difficult. Because you are using the same mind that you have been since birth. Filling up. And you know, using it to pursue so many things in this world, using it to be something, become something, uh, to gather and hold things and knowledge. And then, you know, uh, you later realize, oh my God, this is the same tool that I need to purify now. You're using the same mind. So that becomes a little challenging. So that's, I'm, I'm just here with many people who are transitioning from that phase. So it's interesting. It's quite interesting when I look at things and uh, the approaches. But once you get the whole idea, then it's that's the secret. That's the entire secret. So, I'm dealing all the time with three kinds of seekers. I would like to emphasize that. The first level seekers are the people who have just awakened from this whole world drama called life. This whole play of consciousness. And suddenly there's a questioning, who am I? And where did I come from? Where am I going? What's all this about? And everything seems to be like not making sense and there are a lot of questions coming up in mind so there is curiosity so this is the first level of seekers they just awakened and they want to know more they know some there is something more than this life what they can see and that is how people begin exploring uh, religions and faiths and uh, go to masters and all that that's good and they read books and they have no more knowledge and they want to know and they study and they practice and all those things this is the first level Second level of seekers are those who have awakened and who have known the secrets of the mind and things like that. They know there is something beyond this, you know. And there is something beyond death also. There is some existence also. But by this time, they have developed and taken in so much of wisdom and understanding and have known some secrets of the mind and all those things. And now they use the same tools to create and further become abundant further establish you because that's the catch the second level is the catch so that is the time when you are still in the world dealing with the world and uh, uh, you are dealing with uh, your careers your desires and all those things so the desires do these desires don't just fade away so now this second level of seekers they actually use spirituality to go further deepen in their spirit also and at the same time uh, explore the world explore their whole desires and uh, want to manifest it and you know and create abundance and prosperity success and great relationships and things like that and even uh, develop deeper bonds with um, God and things like that they are interested in angels and ascended masters and but the only thing is in the second level what happens is they are seeking and they are finding also deeper truths 
but they use it all for sustenance so the first level as i said it's like the brahma tattva you you are awakened you just born into spirituality and the second is vishnu tattva now you are born but you are now busy sustaining and maintaining life so that is a very catchy form of life. that is where you know i can say at least 90% of spirituality is stuck in and then you have the third level of seekers who after learning these first two phases now are done with it they cannot find that eternal happiness or that contentment even in that second phase so they know there is something beyond something more than this what is that beyond and then the search deepens and then they know for sure it is not in this it is not in that it is not in relationship it is not in this abundance it is not in the so called success and careers and jobs and finance and you know building a home or having passions and pursuing your hobbies and creating children and buying cars and buying land and settling and having security you know it's something more than that so that when that when they are formed with there is a new awakening that's happening that's the third phase third level seekers and this you can call the rudra or the maheshwar or the shiva tattva this is where they now just want everything to be just destroyed because they know they cannot get the eternal happiness through these things now they just want to be done with it and they know without being done with this what they have created or what they are stuck in they cannot go further so now the third level seekers are fully involved in going beyond by dropping what is already there what they think is there and whatever they have gathered including knowledge all that they have gained they they are ready to they are ready to drop there is no doubt here so when they are actually ready to drop the third level of seeking begins and that is mumukshatva only when everything else is destroyed and dissolved then you can find what is there only when uh, all these things that you are held on to when all this dissolves then what remains is pure you the pure space the pure awareness that you are consciousness that you are so i am dealing more i am myself i find myself pursuing the third uh, seeking i am a seeker at this um, level of understanding i i am sure and i come across lot of seekers who are fellow travelers so we have a hand in hand talk and we move ahead in that that's how it is there is uh, no guru disciple business here it just being fellow travelers and friends and we move across but for those in the first and second yes i may be treated like a teacher okay fine if they want to but i know i'm not Uh, because i have just passed through those phases i am able to guide people in that manner so i am dealing now more with the people who are ripening in the second stage and slowly moving on to the third but they are confused so now i am getting a grip of the whole three year past three years of my travel and my uh, practices so now it's easy for me to relate with because anywhere i go any country any origin any tradition any background any path i can see the seeking is the same these are the three levels of understanding and the third one is little difficult because that's where you just got to get rid of everything all the concepts that we have and for such people are yoga vashishta upadesha saram devi kalotra sarva gyanotra scriptures like this and i'll be going deeper into shiva sutras and vigyana bhairav tantras and kashmir shaivism and they are all speaking extensively about this moving into the third zone and uh, yeah that's what makes it interesting and i'm having some more scriptures because scriptures are like my foundation i somehow know this from the heart yeah that's the strange thing i somehow know all these things from the heart i'm i'm so surprised because most of the time i've just been following my heart and then suddenly i see this documented somewhere in some text or some great enlightened master is talking about it and i say bingo i knew that and i have been already doing that following that kind of uh, those kind of practices and all that so most of these practices many years just came to me intuitively and i was doubting it but today i am very firm because i am sharing it with so many people and many people are using it and having a great time understanding it and going beyond so that make that's what make this whole 
um, journey very interesting and this is a beautiful place that i look at the serenity those who have come for retreat know where i am sitting exactly so most welcome to come for the retreat here the next retreat we am going to have in january here and that's going to be a life changing transforming retreat new year new openings most welcome here to join the january retreat and uh, there is no other retreats here now december we have one in kanyagad that is the chidakasha retreat in the ashram itself if you are interested you can check out my website shiftingintoawareness.com/events and you may join and some more webinars i would be interested in doing which is more more deeper yes we also dealt with chidakasha gita and avadhut gita the great scriptures so these have been it has been an amazing journey i am so thankful to arunachala for bringing all these in depth scriptures right into my lap because i sit here and things come to me and that from here this is the hub this is the origin from where i do my work <laughs> and some more regarding malaleshwari's work and all i'll be sharing of uh, kashmir shaivism uh, i don't want to talk anything right now about it but maybe this month uh, november is going to unfold a lot of things about kashmir shaivism and uh, malaleshwari's tatva i would like to share that with you all i just want to make your journeys also very pleasant and very easy uh, if you just understand how to unwind that's it you don't have to struggle you don't have to it hard and do this and do that so many things and you know sweat it out and get exhausted and tired and all those things you know you just have it's a certain frame of mind that you got to get in and that doesn't come easily i know because there is so much of concepts and beliefs that has gone into our heads it has been conditioned and programmed in a certain it's been hypnotized is the word hypnotized by even spirituality so that's 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 where people find it very uh, scary you know to let go of things and if you see devi kalotra lord shiva is exactly talking about this nirlamba yoga so what i'm sharing here consistently every single day is nirlamba yoga support less path the pathless path is what is been recommended by uh, lord shiva but that's again not easy it's for the third stage third level of seekers so he, i gave you an idea of level 1 level 2 level 3 i do not want to label anybody as level and all that but i'm just telling you'll know you'll know where am i standing because only when you know where you're standing you know how to walk ahead from there you have to know where you're standing so if you feel uh, you are in stage 1 uh, and 2 please continue doing whatever you're doing whatever you're doing whichever path whatever follow it steadfastly and a time will come when you'll start evolving from that automatically from within nobody will tell you but it will happen sure and those who are feeling that they have ripened in the second stage and if you need any help please you may most welcome you are most welcome to join the webinars and these free satsangs and these retreats and all that and those who are in the third you will see a lot of commonalities happening you will see we are talking the same language you will feel find it very comfortable Uh, when you are here with the platform that i'm sharing on you'll feel at home <laughs> i feel at home here very much so i got to go now much divine love and light to all of you stay blessed i pray for all of you that may we all evolve may we all be blessed equally and may we all be free stay blessed mm-hmm.